Jalen, it is now officially, officially, official. Tom Brady has made an announcement of his retirement. He will no longer be playing professional football. Here is a piece of that announcement. Quote, I have loved my NFL career and now it's time to focus my time and energy on other things. My teammates, coaches, fellow competitors and fans deserve 100% of me, but right now it's best I leave the field of play to the next generation of dedicated and committed athletes. Jalen, I read every word of this long announcement. It mentioned the city of Tampa Bay, his Tampa Bay teammates, the coaches, the owner of Tampa Bay, did not mention Bill Belichick, New England, the New England Patriots, or Robert Kraft. Jalen, why did he get petty with the announcement? So it's crazy how I've watched this dynamic play out in sports with these all-time great players as a, as a fan and as a participant. Let me tell you what I mean. When you win championships for an organization and become somebody that's one of the all-time greats, yet you have a frosty relationship with that organization. You gotta remember something. I played for Larry Bird, but it wasn't with the Celtics. It was with the Pacers. I played against MJ when he was with the Bulls, but I also played against him when he was with the Wizards. I seen Isaiah Thomas leave the Pistons and be a part of the ownership with the Raptors, not the Pistons. And so what ends up happening, how about LeBron James when he left Cleveland? And so you think as a player and as a fan that I'm gonna have this autonomy with the organization that I helped do so very many special things with. And all of a sudden you look back at your journey and you Tom Brady the GOAT and you're like, wait a minute. I was 20 years with the Patriots and I had to leave to prove myself. So once I get on that airplane, I'm off of them. Because the only way I'm gonna go to Tampa and win the championship is to pay attention to what's in front of me. See, I say this a lot and I want people just not to go over somebody's head. There's a reason why the windshield is far larger than the rear view mirror because what's happening in front of you is way more important than what's happening in the past. And so therefore, as a 44-year-old man that's been in the NFL for 22 seasons, I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish in New England, but also I proved to myself, to myself, that I could do it without New England and without Bill Belichick. So when it's time for me to retire, you get jammed up, don't mention they name. Well, and he didn't do it. It's one thing if you have a frosty relationship with ownership or even with Belichick himself, but to not mention the fans of New England that rooted for him for two decades, to not mention the organization that he won six Super Bowls with, really gives you a little bit of insight into where his head is at in his relationship with that franchise. And maybe things at the end were a little, as you said, frostier than we looked, than it looked like from the outside. Jalen, he had one of his best statistical careers just this season. Are we sure we've seen the last of Tom Brady on an NFL football field? We're definitely sure. And now I got another potential if they leave destination for Aaron Rodgers and Russell Wilson. Let me be the person to say this out loud. If they leave Seattle and Green Bay, they don't want those AFC problems. Aaron Rodgers, Russell Wilson, they don't want them future AFC at quarterback problems. If they leave, they stand in the NFC. And now another gig just opened up, right? Potentially of a contending team that fell short of expectations. If you're Aaron Rodgers, you can't just leave the Packers and go to the Lions. You got to go to somewhere where you feel like you can win it like Tom Brady just did. And so now the Bucks become a team in play. We talked about the Saints potentially being a team in play. When mm -hmm. teams get there and fall short, they make moves. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens with the squad, in particular the quarterback position of Tampa Bay when Tom Brady leaves. But I don't think he's going to play again. But let me also say this. Aaron Rodgers can't leave Green Bay and go to Tampa Bay. No, that's what I was thinking too. Like, he can't, you can't do that. Play, you can't He's go be one, be two, do it. one two in that. the MVP balloting and then go follow Tom Brady to Tampa. And also, Tampa has a stacked team. They famously brought back all 22 starters from the Super Bowl team last year to this that. year. But they've got some salary cap problems. 
Tom Brady left them with some salary cap issues that they need to work out, but he also left them with a Lombardi trophy for the trophy case. What an amazing career for Tom Brady. Is he the greatest football player of all time? Greatest football player, man, I really can't take away from the human beings that can run and tackle and intercept. And like, he, he, he has to be, how about this? For me, just watching with my two eyes, it's, it's, a, it's like a couple of people. Tom Brady, Lawrence Taylor, mm -hmm. Deion Sanders, and like Barry Sanders. Like, like for me personally, like just watching the game, like I've seen those people at that, at those positions do what nobody else has done in the game. So for him to be amongst that company and only he have to play in a pocket square radius, and he don't have to play offense and defense and return punts like Dion. But he don't have to rush the edge and rush up the middle like LT and pick it off and go 99 yards or juke everybody to get five yards to get 50 like Barry Sanders. He definitely deserves to be in that conversation. I'm really happy for everything he's accomplished. Jerry Rice also comes to mind. It's probably the oh, greatest receiver Rice. of all time. It's Jerry Rice. And yeah, that's I'd the other. I'd say Tom Brady would be in, in, in competition for the greatest offensive player of all time, and I think those Lawrence are Taylor the five. Would be those my are the five. greatest defensive player of all time. Those are the five. Hey, Jacob, those are the five. And coincidentally, they all play different spots. So I like what we did there. They all play different spots. Dion, Lt, Barry Sanders, Jerry Rice, Tom Brady. Those are the five. The five. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.